Folks used to say that Tesla was misunderstood as a car company when it was really, you know, an energy and tech company. Could it be the same for it being an AI company in the future? Could that bolster the long-term argument? Tesla AI Day presented the most amazing real-world AI and engineering effort I have ever seen in my life. Our artificial intelligence analysts were blown away. We are effectively building a synthetic animal from the ground up. So the car can be thought of as an animal. It moves around, it senses the environment, and acts autonomously and intelligently. And we are building all of the components from scratch in-house. It will be a fastest AI training computer. 4x the performance at the same cost. 1.3x better performance per watt, that is energy saving. And 5x smaller footprint. This will be Dojo Computer. With the widespread use of human, humanoid robots, physical work will become a choice. AI-powered robots will help people eliminate dangerous, repetitive, and boring tasks. Tesla is arguably the biggest robotics company because our cars are like semi-sentient robots on wheels. The economy is fundamentally built upon labor, so this will have profound implications as capital equipment enters the labor market. In this video, I'll be discussing the Tesla AI Octopus, the eight arms of Tesla artificial intelligence. Think about Tesla the business as an iceberg. What most people can see, the tiny point above the surface, is cars. Tesla's a car company. Few really keen observers can even notice, well hang on a minute, they're kind of an energy and software company if you really want to be specific. But the truth is, what's beneath the surface, the core that's driving Tesla's business today, and what will drive incredible future profits, the one thing that is going to create the most value for Tesla's shareholders in the future, and yes, print the most money, make the most profits, is artificial intelligence. This video will age like a fine wine, so I highly encourage you to set a reminder, check back in 10, 15, 20, 25 plus years, and let's see how things panned out. In this video, we'll take a quick look at the history of Elon Musk's comments, concerns, and efforts regarding artificial intelligence intelligence, some of the key highlights on where Tesla is at with their AI today, and then we'll tie things together and look at Tesla's AI octopus, the eight arms of Tesla's artificial intelligence efforts. So with that said, let's get into the video. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoy these videos, there's a bunch of ways you can support the channel, access exclusive content and perks, and get some free stocks and crypto. Check out the links in the pinned comment below. You can get two free stocks with Weeble, a free stock with Stake, free Bitcoin with Coinbase, and free Bitcoin with BlockFi, and the BlockFi Bitcoin Rewards credit card. You can also pick up some Tesla, Elon, and investment themed merch in the merch store if you want to take it to the next level. Join thousands of members on Patreon to gain exclusive access to over 100 Q&A videos, loads of exclusive content, exclusive access to my up-to-date 10-year Tesla stock price targets, and even access my Tesla valuation model at the investor support level and above. So check out the links in the pinned comment below, and thanks for your support. 2014, we learned that Elon Musk has invested in DeepMind over Terminator fears. Tesla CEO Elon Musk worries about a Terminator scenario arising from research into artificial intelligence. Musk was an early investor in AI firm DeepMind, which was later acquired by Google, and in March made an investment in San Francisco-based Vicarious, another company working to improve machine intelligence. Musk explained that his investments were, quote, not from the standpoint of actually trying to make any investment return. I like to just keep an eye on what's going on with artificial intelligence. I think there is a potentially dangerous outcome there. Boy oh f***ing boy is Elon right. If you guys haven't looked into this, there are a ton of great books. One in particular that I recommend, Super Intelligence by Nick Bostrom. Quote, there have been movies about this, you know, like Terminator, Musk continued. There are some scary outcomes, and we should try to make sure the outcomes are good not bad. A year later, Elon Musk is one of the founders of OpenAI. The company, considered a competitor to DeepMind, conducts research in the field of AI with the stated goal of promoting and developing friendly AI in a way that benefits humanity as a whole. In 2018, Elon Musk resigned from the board of OpenAI but still remains as a donor. As you can see, Elon really putting his money where his mouth is in terms of artificial intelligence research, doing his best to avoid a scenario in which powerful artificial intelligence ends up in the wrong hands. Or worse, doesn't end up in the wrong hands, but goes awry and accidentally destroys us all. Probably a suboptimal outcome. Also in 2015, Elon Musk donates $10 million to keep AI beneficial. We are delighted to report that technology inventor Elon Musk, creator of Tesla and SpaceX, has decided to donate $10 million to the Future of Life Institute to run a global research program aimed at keeping AI beneficial to humanity. Fast forward a few years. Elon Musk on Twitter, quoting Lex Friedman, at Tesla, Using AI to solve self-driving isn't just icing on the cake, it is the cake. Brilliantly insightful from Lex here. Again, think about the iceberg analogy here. Beneath the surface, that, that's the cake. The thing that people are missing. 
Elon adds, join AI at Tesla. It reports directly to me and we meet, email, text almost every day. Consider that. My actions, not just words, show how critically I view benign AI. And again, he's right, his actions, founder of OpenAI, investor in DeepMind, contributing to many other companies as well, just to keep an eye on things. Another tweet from Elon, April this year. Tesla AI slash autopilot, notice how these two things are now merging? Tesla AI slash autopilot seen as the same entity. Engineering is awesome. Making excellent progress solving real world AI. Also earlier this year. Well, perhaps obvious in hindsight, it turns out that the only way to solve self-driving is to solve a big part of real world AI. That is what Tesla is doing, both in hardware and software. Unless a company is good at AI with tight compute, it's hopeless. This is insanely hard. Later that same month. A major part of real world AI has to be solved to make unsupervised, generalized, full self-driving work, as the entire road system is designed for biological neural nets with optical images, aka eyes and a brain. And from this month, as always, Tesla is looking for hardcore AI engineers who care about solving problems that directly affect people's lives in a major way. Notice the terminology in this tweet, solving problems that directly affect people's lives in a major way. This ain't about self-driving cars, although that is part of the puzzle, but it goes far beyond this. What could be more important than solving problems that affect people's lives in a major way? Tesla's ambition isn't electric vehicles, that's part of it. It's not solar, it's not batteries, that's part of it. If you haven't realized what's going on here, Tesla is transforming. Over the past seven or so years, there has been a massive transformation. Elon has now realized that in order to solve autonomy, Tesla will need to solve a major part of real world AI. In doing so, Tesla will have built the foundational block for artificial general intelligence. The better part of a decade ago, Elon Musk is investing in and donating to companies that are developing AI to keep an eye on it and organizations that are doing their best to ensure that AI when it's developed is done so in a beneficial way. And now the development of benign AI has been brought in-house at Tesla. Over the past seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years, Tesla has been improving their AI expertise and now they've literally become one of the world's leading real world AI companies. And boy oh boy, am I sleeping better at night as a result. In just a moment, we'll look at the eight arms of Tesla's artificial intelligence efforts, driving every aspect of the company from internal performance metrics to their factories and obviously their autonomous vehicle software. But before that, I'm just gonna play a few quick clips to show the transformation of Tesla from an electric vehicle slash energy slash, ooh, maybe software company into one of the world's leading AI companies. Folks used to say that Tesla was misunderstood as a car company when it was really, you know, an energy and tech company. Could it be the same for it being an AI company in the future? Could that bolster the long-term argument? Tesla AI Day presented the most amazing real-world AI and engineering effort I have ever seen in my life. Our artificial intelligence analysts were blown away. We have an exapod. This is one exaflop of compute in 10 cabinets. In a vertical fashion, we broke the traditional barriers to scaling. And that's how we got modularity up and down the stack to add to new levels of performance. To sum it all, this is what it will be. It will be a fastest AI training computer, 4x the performance at the same cost, 1.3x better performance per watt, that is energy saving, and 5x smaller footprint. This will be Dojo Computer. What I find kind of fascinating about this is that we are effectively building a synthetic animal from the ground up. So the car can be thought of as an animal. It moves around, it senses the environment, and uh, you know, acts autonomously and intelligently. And we are building all of the components from scratch in-house. So we are building, of course, all of the mechanical components of the body, the nervous system, which is all of the electrical components, and for our purposes, the brain of the autopilot, and specifically for this section, the synthetic visual cortex. With the widespread use of human, humanoid robots, physical work will become a choice. AI-powered robots will help people eliminate dangerous, repetitive, and boring tasks. Tesla is arguably the biggest robotics company because our cars like semi-sentient robots on wheels. The economy is fundamentally built upon labor, so this will have profound implications as capital equipment enters the labor market.
Now, these cars, because they have automated testing, you can try something anytime and know if it worked or not really quickly. Well, the automated test said pass. Those cars were sold. In three hours, it went from idea to now the cars accept 250 kilowatt hours. Now, they weren't advertised as accepting 250 kilowatt hours until further validation, but they were already being sold. They could, they were already as good as before. In fact, they were better. And later, those same cars that were already sold, it was turned on. By the way, you can now charge 250 kilowatt hours. The owner's got a free upgrade. So we've heard Elon say the best part is no part. The best process is no process. Well, it turns out at Tesla, the best manager is no manager because you've replaced them with AI. If we simply get a thumbs up or a green light or something that says that was good, we can self-manage. Now, because most companies historically had no automation for that, they had something called a manager. And that was a human whose job it was to say, yes, that was good. Really, that's their number one job. Yes, that was good. As quickly as possible. If they miss and ignore someone for a few months, that person, their productivity tends to suffer. They get what's called disengaged. And sometimes they even quit. So having a fast feedback loop from management is what allows us to manage our own work. Well, if you automate that, if your company has a deep expertise in machine learning and visual understanding of the world around it, you can put machine learning everywhere and give fast feedback through your phone and these huge monitors hanging all over the facility. And if you can create machine learning that basically says good job or thumbs up, it doesn't even have to say bad job. It doesn't need to. It just needs to say that was, that was better than before. People can self-manage and you no longer have any need for management. So if you haven't noticed, not only is Tesla a world leader in real world AI with their autopilot software, which will soon be deployed in the Optimus robot, but AI also permeates every layer, every aspect of Tesla's business under the surface. And now it's time to tie everything together. Let's look at the eight arms of Tesla's artificial intelligence efforts, the AI Autopilot Octopus. We're over on the Tesla website at their artificial intelligence and autopilot recruiting page. By the way, a special shout out to Mary Barra. I'm sure it's just a few years time until the corrupt president of the United States, if he's still alive, is crediting Mary Barra with leading the way in artificial intelligence efforts as well. We develop and deploy autonomy at scale in vehicles, robots, and more. There's a lot to that and more, including Tesla factories and the feedback system for employees. This also includes Tesla energy, performing energy arbitrage. There's a million different things that Tesla are doing that most people don't have any clue about. We believe that an approach based on advanced AI for vision and planning, supported by efficient use of inference hardware, is the only way to achieve a general solution for full self-driving Keywords here and beyond. Again, obvious clues here, the breadcrumbs, follow the breadcrumbs. Self-driving first, the building block of artificial general intelligence. Deploy that same software in a humanoid robot. Now you can gather more data to improve the AI eventually solving artificial general intelligence. This is where things are headed. Like I said earlier, this video is gonna age like a fine wine. Check back in a decade or two time and this message is for when you do that. I told ya. First of all, the FSD chip. Fair warning, this will get a little bit nerdy, but it's important to understand the depth of what Tesla is doing here with their AI and autopilot efforts. Build AI inference chips to run our full self-driving software, considering every small architectural and micro-architectural improvement while squeezing maximum silicon performance per watt. Perform floor planning, timing, and power analyses on the design. Write robust tests and scoreboards to verify functionality and performance. Implement drivers to program and communicate with the chip, focusing on performance optimization and redundancy. Finally, validate the silicon chip and bring it to mass production in our vehicles. Dojo chip. Build AI training chips to power our dojo system. Implement bleeding edge technology from the smallest training nodes to the multi-die training tiles. Design and architect for maximum performance, throughput and bandwidth at every granularity. Dictate physical methodology, floor planning and other physical aspects of the chip. Develop pre-silicon verification and post-silicon validation methods to ensure functional correctness. Write compilers and drivers to optimize power and performance for our neural networks throughout the entire Dojo system. You'll also note a link here to a Dojo white paper. This white paper, in my opinion, will eventually pave the way for others to use Dojo as a service. Now, as we continue through this, I just want you guys to think, is there another company on earth in the automotive industry, in the tech industry, anywhere, that's doing this kind of work at this scale. Not only the breadth, but also the depth. You'd be hard pressed to find one. <laughs> but Tesla's just a car company. Let's continue. Dojo Systems. Design and build the Dojo system from the silicon firmware interfaces to the high level software APIs meant to control it. 
solve hard problems with state-of-the-art technology for high power delivery and cooling, and write control loops and monitoring software that scales. Work with every aspect of system design where the limit is only your imagination, employing the full prowess of our mechanical, thermal, and electrical engineering teams to create the next generation of machine learning compute for use in Tesla data centers. It'd be amazing if some of the Muppet stock analysts on Wall Street could read this. I mean, seriously. Tesla, on their own website, explain that they are creating the next generation of machine learning computers. Collaborate with Tesla Fleet Learning to deploy training workloads using our massive data sets and design a public facing API that will bring Dojo to the masses. Again, Dojo as a service. This is going to be an absolutely fucking gigantic revenue stream for Tesla in the future. A huge profit center. But again, please don't tell the Wall Street stock analysts. Neural networks. Apply cutting edge research to train deep neural networks on problems ranging from perception to control. Our per camera networks analyze raw images to perform semantic segmentation, object detection, and monocular depth estimation. Now, I know this is a little bit wordy, but basically, this is what your brain does when you look at shit. Our bird's eye view networks take video from all cameras to output the road layout, static infrastructure, and 3D objects directly in the top-down view. Our networks learn from the most complicated and diverse scenarios in the world, iteratively sourced from our fleet of nearly 1 million vehicles in real time. A full build of autopilot neural networks involves 48 networks that take 70,000 GPU hours to train. Together, they output 1,000 distinct tensors, aka predictions, at each time step. Insanity. Autonomy algorithms. Develop the core algorithms that drive the car by creating a high fidelity representation of the world and planning trajectories in that space. In order to train the neural networks to predict such representations, algorithmically create accurate and large scale ground truth data by combining information from the car's sensors across space and time. This definitely sounds like something legacy automotive manufacturers will be able to solve as soon as they decide to even try, right? Use state-of-the-art techniques to build a robust planning and decision-making system that operates in complicated, real-world situations under uncertainty. I just want to take a quick moment here. The distinction between what Tesla is doing with their autonomy algorithms and what, let's say, Cruise and Waymo are doing, they have literally nothing in common. They have a huge amount of certainty because they're pre-mapping everywhere the car's allowed to operate in high definition and then using LiDAR to basically go on rails. Make sure that it's on the tracks. From an outside observer's perspective, it may be very difficult to distinguish what Waymo, Cruise, and Tesla are doing with their autonomous software. But this is the key difference here. Tesla is developing software that can take in data in real time, having not encountered this situation before, having no idea what's meant to be here, there, and everywhere, and in real time, perceive, plan, and act. Waymo and Cruise are trying to operate with as much certainty as absolutely possible, and they achieve this by using HD maps and LiDAR just to make sure the car knows what's going on. The problem is, this is not a generalized or a scalable solution. Watch this play out over time. Evaluate your algorithms at the scale of the entire Tesla fleet. Now bear with me here, the code foundations get super nerdy, but don't worry, it won't hurt too much, and I promise it'll be over faster than you think. Where have I said that before? Code foundations. Throughput, latency, correctness, and determinism are the main metrics we optimize our code for. Build the autopilot software foundations up from the lowest levels of the stack, tightly integrating with our custom hardware. Implement super reliable bootloaders with support for over-the-air updates and bring up customized Linux kernels. Write fast, memory-efficient, low-level code to capture high-frequency, high-volume data from our sensors and to share it with multiple consumer processes without impacting central memory access latency or starving critical functional code from CPU cycles. Squeeze and pipeline compute across a variety of hardware processing units distributing across multiple system on chips. We're already up to the sixth arm of the Tesla AI Autopilot Octopus and this one is an absolute killer. Evaluation infrastructure, pay very close attention. Build open and closed loop, hardware in the loop, evaluation tools and infrastructure at scale to accelerate the pace of innovation, track performance improvements and prevent regressions. Leverage anonymized characteristic clips from our fleet and integrate them into large suites of test cases. Write code simulating our real world environment, producing highly realistic graphics and other sensor data that feed our autopilot software for live debugging or automated testing. And last, but definitely not least, the Tesla bot. Develop the next generation of automation, including a general purpose bipedal humanoid robot capable of performing tasks that are unsafe, repetitive, or boring. We're seeking mechanical, electrical, controls, and software engineers to help us leverage our AI expertise beyond our vehicle fleet. And speaking of the Tesla bot, check out the card in the corner or the link below if you'd like your own Tesla bot and Dojo chip combo merge design. The bot's on the front and on everything except the phone cases. The Dojo chip design is on the back. 
These are available in shirts, mugs, hoodies, long sleeves, phone cases, and loads more. So check out the card in the corner or the link in the pinned comment. No one, apart from a couple of nerds on YouTube and Twitter, is talking about Tesla AI or the profound implications that artificial intelligence is already having on Tesla's business. But far more importantly, the colossal, unfathomable opportunity that AI presents in Tesla's future. It is painfully obvious to me today that Tesla is developing AGI, artificial general intelligence. Elon Musk has transitioned from being extremely fearful and investing in companies and or research around artificial intelligence, hoping to avoid a worst case scenario, to now having a company that's at a large enough scale and doing enough to have built the foundational building block for AGI. We just reviewed the eight different arms of Tesla's artificial intelligence efforts, the AI octopus, stuff that is predominantly beneath the surface that people aren't aware of or just don't care about. In my Tesla valuation model, Tesla's AI efforts, including the full self-driving software and yes, the Tesla bot, make a profoundly important impact to the company's financial results, especially their profits. And I personally think that even in my bull case scenario, I'm being extremely conservative. If you tweak the numbers just a little bit, valuation and my Tesla stock price targets, which my valuation model produces automatically, get absolutely ridiculous. So I'm trying to temper my expectations and my assumptions. And a reminder, if you guys want access to my Tesla valuation model, you can access it exclusively on Patreon. Check out the card in the corner or the link in the pinned comment. It's available to supporters at the investor level and above. But if you'd just like access to my 10 year price targets, bear case, base case, and the bull case all the way out to 2031, those are available exclusively on Patreon to all supporters at all levels. Plus you'll gain access to a ton of exclusive content. Again, hit the card in the corner or the link in the description. And I'd love to know what you guys and girls think in the comments below. Do you, like me, see Tesla as an AI company? If not, how would you describe Tesla today and what Tesla will be in the future? I'm Stephen Mark Ryan. This is Solving the Money Problem and I love you all. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoy these videos, there's a bunch of ways you can support the channel, access exclusive content and perks, and get some free stocks and crypto. Check out the links in the pinned comment below. You can get two free stocks with Weeble, a free stock with Stake, free Bitcoin with Coinbase, and free Bitcoin with BlockFi, and the BlockFi Bitcoin Rewards credit card. You can also pick up some Tesla, Elon, and investment theme merch in the merch store if you want to take it to the next level. Join thousands of members on Patreon to gain exclusive access to over 100 Q&A videos, loads of exclusive content, exclusive access to my up-to-date 10-year Tesla stock price targets, and even access my Tesla valuation model at the investor support level and above. So check out the links in the pinned comment below, and thanks for your support. And if you're still watching, you're awesome. I read every single comment on this channel, and I really appreciate your feedback. So if you've got any thoughts on today's video, questions, comments, or suggestions for a new video, let me know in the comments below. Check the cards on screen now to browse the merch store, join Patreon, or watch the next video.